Lord, brothers and sisters, and welcome back again to my channel for another powerful moment of inspiration. As usual, the Word of God is our standard in this channel. And today we want to look at another amazing topic. And our topic today is fix your eyes on Jesus. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Now, most of the times we go through storms and the storms can be too much, too painful, too hard. That's most of the time we might or we might decide to look away from Jesus. Sometimes it's so painful that you don't feel like Jesus is around. Now, in the, in the Bible, in the book of Matthew 14, 24 to 33, we see the story of Jesus with his disciples. And Jesus sends his disciples ahead of him. And the disciples go to the sea by their boat. And at one point we are told that they started battering, being battered by the storms. The storms were bad and they can imagine they were trying all manner of things to get out of the storms. When you are faced with such a storm, you will look for a solution. Any solution matters to you, especially when it is the waters and you know the waters can be very dangerous. And these disciples might, might have tried to do everything. They might have tried to pray. They might have tried calling on Jesus. And at one point, they might have asked themselves, where is Jesus? And at this point, Jesus is seen coming at night. Around three, Jesus starts walking in the waters. And when they see Jesus, they thought that he was a ghost. You can imagine. When you're going through trouble, when you're going through tough times, sometimes even the things around you might look dangerous. And most of the times we get so scared, we wonder how, what are we going to do? How are we going to do it? But at this point, Jesus looks at them and says, we read what Jesus says. And Jesus, but immediately he spoke to them saying, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Friends, most of the times when we are going through the storms, we think that Jesus has forgotten us. We think that Jesus is not near. But this same Jesus walks on the storms that was carrying the disciples. The same waters that was trouble for the disciples, that is where Jesus walked. That is where Jesus stood. That is where Jesus was comfortable because Jesus was used to all these things because he was the king of the waters. He was the Lord of everything. Before the storms were there, before the waters was there, he, Jesus, was. And at this point, his disciple Peter replies to him and says, Lord, if it is really you, command me to come to you on the water. I love the faith of Peter. Peter decides, I will not only look at you coming and walking on the water, but if it is you, Lord, you can also tell me to walk on the same water because you are the Lord of the waters. And Jesus tells Peter, come. Friends, that is what God is extending to us today. God is saying, I know you're going through the storms. I know these storms look like they are going to swallow, swallow you. I know these storms look like they are going to swallow you. But Jesus stretches his hands and says, Child, come. He has extended that same thing to you today. He is calling on all of us today. And he's saying, I know there is a storm. But I can walk in this storm because I'm able to calm it down. I'm able to calm your situation. I am able to take control of everything. And Jesus says, come. And I'm thinking, it's not only come and walk through the waters like me, but come to me. I am here, I want to make things all right. I am here to give you that confidence and that comfort that you have been looking for. You have been looking at so many things, but I, Jesus, I am here telling you, come. And Peter starts walking on the waters. I can imagine every step he was making, it was out of faith, because his faith, he was looking at Jesus. He knew that is the source of my strength. That is the source of the victory. That is the source of this miracle of me walking on the waters. And he starts walking towards Jesus. And he walks and walks until he decides to start looking at the storm. I can imagine me, maybe that water hit his leg or something happened and he decided, what? Am I the one really walking on the water? 
Am I the one who is walking through this storm? Am I the one that is walking through this pain? Friends, I know some of you are walking through pain. Some of you are walking through situations that you cannot even imagine. You don't even know what to tell people about it. But Jesus is there looking at you saying, come. But at a one point, you actually decide that yes, Jesus, you're there. I am fixing my eyes on you. But this pain is too much, Jesus. Jesus, I'm looking at you. But the doctor's report is terrible. Jesus, I am looking at you. But I do not have any finances. Jesus, I am looking at you. But I do not have any more faith left in me. Friends, if time comes, you have to stop looking at the storms. That you have to face and to look up and see Jesus. Because he's right there in the midst of that storm. He's right there in the midst of that pain. I am not saying don't cry. Yes, cry. But I cry with a new understanding. That Jesus is here with me. He will comfort me. He will wipe my tears away. Jesus just lifts his hand and opens his hands wide open and says, Child, come. I am the one that wipes tears away. I am the one that takes pain away. I am the king of every storm. I am able to calm it. And we are told when Peter decided to look at his storm, what happened is he started sinking. He was walking on top of the waters, but now he starts sinking. If you decide to look at your situation, you will sink. You will think of suicide. You will think of very many things. You will think that you are all alone. You will get into depression. But when you look at Jesus, when you fix your eyes on Jesus, the only possibility is success. The only possibility is victory. And Jesus looks at him and says, Jesus says, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Friends, that is what God is asking you today. I said I will take care of the situation. Why did you doubt me? Why did you give up on me? Why did you think that I am not able to give you the peace that you, you desire? And the psalmist we are told in the Bible, in the book of Psalms 23, when this is a psalm of David, when David was going through so much, he looks up and says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still and quiet waters. He, ref he refreshes and restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me and console me. Friends, even in that valley of the shadow of death, that death that looks so, that thing that looks so dead in your life, in that valley, in that place there is no sun, in that place there is no hope, Jesus is there. God is there. He's the one that can give you the comfort. He's the one that can give you the peace that you need. Yes, we might not be able to change your situation, but He is able to change it. We might not be able to save you, but He is the Savior. We might not be able to wipe your tears away, but He will wipe your tears away so don't focus on your pain don't focus on your sickness don't focus on the report of the doctors don't focus on the report of your bank account focus on what god says about you fix your eyes on jesus fix your faith on jesus come on lift up your head look at jesus because he is your victory he is your beginning to the end Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, for joining me again. I hope you have been encouraged and keep on coming to this channel so that we can grow together. Please, if you're new in this channel, please subscribe, share, and invite other friends so that we can grow together. God bless you and shalom.